So this one is lecture number 17 and here we are going to discuss about application of conditional probability mass function and coming to outline of today's lecture i would like to discuss first about uh, uh, joint computation of joint probability mass function and uh, it would be very interesting to see that we will able to compute joint probability mass function with the help of multiplication rule or chain rule so we had already seen in the module one how to compute joint probability mass joint probability of two event if, if both occurs together or jointly so that means joint, uh, we are talking about computation of probability mass function of a intersection b so we compute it through multiplication rule how we compute we try to observe which one is uh, any uh, any of these two may occur first suppose we observe a first so in that perspective we know the probability of observing event a okay after that we are observing b so there is a proper sequencing order so after that we are observing b that means we are having a conditioning approach that means once we have already observed after that we are observing b that's why we are computing probability conditional probability, probability of b given a so this generally we call it uh, multiplication rule or further also you can call it a chain rule chain rule both are uh, equivalent to each other so it is one kind of restatement of definition of uh, conditional probability so similar concept we will generalize it here in order to we we had already seen uh, the definition or concept of uh, conditional probability mass function so it was defined as conditional probability mass function for uh, a random variable where condition was given by uh, introduced by what we call it uh, an event so that here the conditional probability mass function of x given a we were able to compute it like this way in the same framework of what we are calling it uh, we are defining it like this way uh, that uh, probability that x is observing value a uh, small x given a and we apply here definition of conditional probability so we know that a is an event and uh, from the perspective of random variable if a random variable is observing a, a particular value x then we say that it is defining an another event it is one kind of event so just we are finding the probability of event that x is observing x given a so it is all about what just conditional probability definition of conditional probability so we will apply the concept of definition of probability that in last class we had already seen that it is saying that joint occurrence of that random variable x is observing value a and x is in a that x is in a divided by probability of occurrence of a so okay so further if you simplify that it is taking two form so we not we are not bothering about outside a just we bother about uh, when x is observing value from the event a that means a is our new uh, sample of space in that case uh, it what does it becomes that means uh, simply x is coming from a itself so it would be just probability uh, that uh, value of probability mass function of x at x when x is coming from the event a okay a divided by probability of a if x is not if there is no common uh, of common outcome between this event and this event in that case probability would be zero that means what is meaning of that that means the particular value x what we had already observed it is not from a in that case uh, the conditional probability mass function would be zero and we know that uh, easily we uh, i had already mentioned that it satisfies all the property of being a probability mass function that means uh, it is satisfying that uh, this conditional probability mass function lies between 0 and 1 greater than 0 and greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1 because why what is a probability just conditional probability so easily you can derive second uh, condition was that normalizing condition that means uh, if you sum up for uh, here we know that uh, we took summation for all x which are coming from the event a because a is our new universe because if you are taking x outside from a then conditional 
productive mass function would be zero so do, we don't have to bother about that so if you do summation of this this condition productive mass function for all x which are coming from a then easily it would be what it would be equal to one how huh? because uh, some would go here like this way one by the uh, property of uh, p it is a constant it is we have already observed it it is a constant so only we have to find the summation of all the protein mass function of x those are coming from a so what is that it is from the definition of uh, probability mass function anyone would like to highlight what the, what does this, this talk about it is just uh, anyone what does this talk about anyone tell me what is the value of summation of all the protein mass function when x is coming from a so what would be this anyone try to answer it what is what is this i could not uh, listen what would be this simply i am just focusing on this quantity what would be this quantity anyone it is just based on property of uh, that uh, uh, protein mass function of uh, x that pro property of protein mass function x that uh, i am talking about this one so what is this one so here easily you can see that we are observing only uh, those x which are coming from a and for with respect to those x we we are summing so it will what it will give it will give our probability of occurrence of a so it is just nothing it is probability of a so that's why in numerator also we are having probability of a in denominator also we are having probability of a so after simplification you will see that this one is equal to one so we can easily see that uh, this condition property mass function is satisfying this property and this normalizing property and likewise also you can calculate third property it says that if you are taking um, a subset of a that means if you are taking a uh, value of x which is coming from a subset b then you can also calculate probability of those x which are coming from b how how you can compute so you can com first compute conditional property mass function for of those x which are coming from b suppose this x is coming from b and sum for all those so here summation we are taking over only b x is coming only from b and this would give what it would give probability of b probability of b condition on a remember that condition on conditional property you will get it here so this is the third property of uh, being uh, finding probability of a uh, event okay particular kind of event uh, event containing uh, few outcomes so so we can um, compute like this way so all these properties are satisfied by uh, conditional property mass function that we had already defined today what we will do here the event a will define it by random variable like y we will come up with another random variable y and we will define that a would be uh, what y is observing this particular small y so through that and after that we will talk about joint protein mass function once we are having idea of joint protein mass function we will go to discuss about beige rule beige rule uh, for distribution of discrete random variable and it is finding a lot of application in bayesian um, perspective of uh, data analysis what we call it and in next prob probably in next class we will discuss about conditional expectation again all these things are dealing with conditional property mass function all these things okay so coming to first part of today's lecture that uh, computation of joint property mass function how we can compute it okay so prior to going to discuss about computational computation of joint property mass function uh, first we will try to introduce conditional property mass function of a random variable x where condition is introduced by another random variable y that we are putting condition on another random variable y that means we are having two random variable x and y and we will find conditional property mass function like this way so never worry about this one we know that all these things would be here it is property mass function it is always defined by probability so we have to look that definition and from there we will do uh, everything about probability so coming to discuss about uh, this concept so the 
conditional probability mass function of x condition on another event another uh, uh, one a specific event of another random variable y okay we define it like this way uh, the value of conditional property mass function of x given y so here you can see that anyone if you ask question right now uh, what is the notion or nature of variability of x and y here x and y both vary but how it is variably variability how it is varying so here for each x and uh, for each y we are taking for each y we that a small y for each uh, possible observation of y as a small y we are defining uh, this conditional property mass function so here if you talk about once you say for each y call it each y so uh, then uh, here y is one kind of fix here for each y is given y or given for given y also you can introduce it here better write it uh, here like this way given y given y a small y uh, it is a function of x usually you can say that it is function here variability we observe uh, with respect to x so variability is here uh, x so that's why we will define this one uh, this conditional property mass function as that probability that x is random variable x is observing value x for given y for given y okay now further if you try to look into how we write it so we can write it in this conditional probability so here it doesn't look completely conditional probability so we can write this further here when this uh, value of this conditional property mass function at x uh, condition on y is defined by this probability and further we elaborate it it is talking about that property that x is random variable x is observing value x given that when y has already observed value a small y okay so it is just about it is one event one event it is another event okay you can call it a you can call it b so one kind of thing that you are trying to find probability of a given b so just apply the uh, definition of conditional probability here what does it say it simply say that it is talking about the ratio of the uh, probability of joint occurrence of a and b joint this one is a and b joint occurrence of a and b divided by probability of b what is b b is that y random variable y is observing value y okay a small y so that is is coming from definition of conditional probability but here what we observe here here we see that random variable x and y both vary together both vary together so it is talking about uh, that both occurs together then that means here x equal to small x and y equal to small y it is talking about joint occurrence of x and y so that's why we are saying that it is actually a joint probability of x and y divided by probability of y this one is probability of y remember that we are talking about it it is not a probability mass function here we have already fixed y so it is just a probability of that a specific y so that situation is coming here but here you can talk about uh, it is a joint probability okay of occurrence of x and y okay so uh, this one is the definition of conditional property mass function of x given y okay now we will try to see further we will restate it in order to uh, write uh, prob joint property mass function as a product of uh, uh, prior property and the corresponding uh, conditional property mass function okay so that thing we will see we will see it here so the, the definition of conditional property mass function here what we, we have already defined it like this, this with the help of uh, definition of conditional probability that will leads to computation of joint property mass function how it will lead to like this way so here you can focus over this one okay so what you do just uh, you take this quantity left hand side bring it here don't keep in denominator bring it here so from there what we observe that we say that joint probability of occurrence of x and y it is what it is the probability of observing y times once we have already observed y afterward we are observing x so there is a proper sequencing 
first here uh, in this definition we first observe x then after this we are observing y we first we are observing uh, sorry uh, first in this sequence first we are observing x after that we are observing y okay first we are observing y then we are observing x okay so there is a proper sequencing okay so that's why we are writing it is just what application of uh, multiplication rule or chain rule what we call it so joint probability we are computing it like this way so so this one is easy to compute this one is also easy to compute that's why we can easily compute joint probability mass function of two random variable now i am taking one situation like uh, so uh, we had already seen that we are having two random variable x and y and that's why we are able to define conditional property mass function of x given y okay and from there uh, this definition is restated like this way that uh, joint property mass function as a, it is written as a product of these two probability mass function okay fine so now consider we are having two discrete random variable x and y and both are actually coming from the same experiment okay then how we define the joint protein mass function of n x and y so we can just i am talking about this left hand side from the more entity perspective so we know that this one is the computational approach so we can compute joint protein mass function through this approach this factor approach this factor theorem but what is this one so this one we explain it like this way it is talking about it is defined joint protein mass function of x and y it is defined as joint property of x is observing x and y is observing y and it is defined for every pair of x and y it is defined for every pair that x is observing various possible value y is also likewise observing various possible value so like so you will get pair of x and y so so what is uh, joint property mass function so we define through this property okay this joint property of occurrence of x equal to x and y equal to x so it is just definition of what we call it joint occurrence of uh, distribution of joint occurrence of x and y what we are calling it so this one is definition and this one is competition what we call it we compute it like this way now further we will talk about joint protein mass function here i will take one example and this example is really interesting from the uh, what we call it is very much related to to academic like uh, there is a professor professor may uh, what is the uh, uh, professor may uh, has some fact like that what professor may often has her facts wrong okay uh, and answer each of her students a student's question incorrectly with probability 1 by 4 okay yeah. that means uh, out of four question was one question uh, answer of one question would be wrong okay that that is the concept related with uh, that that kind of fact is associated with professor may okay and uh, it would be independent of other questions i i that means if you are asking one uh, answer of one question then then uh, there is a probability uh, of 1 by 4 that that answer would be wrong of that question okay and if you ask next question then that next question would be independent of the first question it is not like depending there is no dependence that situation is given here now in each lecture professor may is asking either zero question or one question or two question in, in in each of uh, her lecture okay and uh, professor may asking with probability one by three that means probability of asking zero question it what is that one by three probability of asking one question is one by three probability of asking two question is one by three equally likely situation is there okay then further if you denote uh, to random variable through random variable these things so suppose x is talking about number of questions professor may ask that means x is taking value either 0 or 1 or 2 then what is the probability distribution of x it is uniform distribution that one is 1 by 3 4 x equal to 0 1 2 for other value it is 0 simply now why we denoted that number of questions see answers wrong in a given lecture number of person so totally if you talk about y if you're trying to find the uh, value of y what are the value of y anyone 
anyone would like to suggest what would be the value of y what what are the possible value of y i am asking yes yeah 0 1 2 because uh, it depends upon highly there is there is so clearly there is a dependency of y over x there is a clear dependency of y over x okay did you get it did you get it or not here it is already given it is already given that uh, we we are talking about uh, first uh, that uh, uh, in each lecture may is asking either zero or one or two question with this probability and uh, there is a fact with professor may that uh, she answer uh, each of her students question incorrectly with probability one by four so when there would be incorrect answer when she has already asked question then if she is not asking any question do you see any answer of that question Do you see? No. So that's why if she is asking question, then there is a chance of wrong answer, or there is a chance of answering. Okay. Uh, so wrong or right answer. So uh, if she is answering a giving answer of a question with probability one by uh, wrong answer with probability one by four, then right answer would be with probability three by four. Right answer with probability three by four. x given y okay so simply we are uh, willing to calculate joint protein mass function of x and y so joint protein mass function how we compute it so here uh, we are having a clear picture of x that means x is observing either 0 or 1 or 2 with probability 1 by 3 that means cross current uh, we know everything about x so that's where first uh, we are observing x after that we are observing y so that's where this one is talking about uh, conditional conditional probability mass function what we call it uh, of y given x so we know this one we need to know this how to compute this one so we, we can compute for um, example uh, where one question is asked and answer is wrong if one question is asked and answer is wrong what would be situation here one situation you can see it like this way one question is that means x is observing value one and y is observing value one okay y is observing value one okay so that is the situation so here we can compute it through this multiplication rule that the property that x is observing value 1 and uh, uh, property that y uh, y is observing value 1 given x okay this is talking about conditional property of y given x okay uh, if uh, there is only one question is asked then what would be what is the probability of being wrong that question y is talking about probability of being wrong answer probability of what is the probability that that is that is so for y what is the probability of success it is 1 by 4 being wrong we are treating as a probability of success did you get it anyone so it is having a distribution it uh, i i am writing a distribution so y given x is having distribution it you can say that it is having probability 1 by 4 okay and uh, it is one kind of uh, Bernoulli, it is a Bernoulli distribution simply you can call it you can uh, talk like this way generally we denote it like it is having a Bernoulli distribution with probability parameter is 1 by 4 y given x is having Bernoulli distribution so either uh, that answer would be wrong or right only two choices two choices should be there so either question would be wrong or right okay
so uh, we we are able to calculate probability of one one it is what uh, probability of observing x equal to one it is one by three probability of observing y equal to one given x equal to one it would be one by four okay so in total you are getting this probability okay like if you are taking x equal to one and y equal to zero that means there is no wrong answer there is no wrong answer so what is probability of no wrong answer probability of wrong answer is 1 by 4 probability of no wrong answer is 1 minus 1 by that 3 by 4 so it would be 3 by 4 so that's where this joint uh, probability you are getting it this joint probability. i'm talking about joint probability of 1 and 0 joint probability of 1 1 is 1 by 12 joint probability of 1 0 is 3 by 12 okay likewise you can compute all the probabilities so here uh, i told i have already mentioned that if when we apply product rule when things happening in sequential way so here this one is uh, here talking about distribution of x so x is taking value 0 1 2 x is taking value 0 all are equally likely so uh, x equal to 0 it is coming with respect to uh, with probability 1 by 3 x y equal to x equal to 1 is coming with probability 1 by um, 3 and likewise and it is happening through sequential approach so this here we will call it uh, y given x this one is y given x so you can compute all the possible values that's why y is also taking value so if uh, suppose x equal to 2 so highly why is highly dependent over x if x is equal to 2 then it may also possible that both answer would be wrong then what would be value of y why what would be why if both answers are wrong then what would be value of y anyone yeah 1 by 16 that means uh, what is value of y i'm not talking about probability of y if uh, both question are both answer are wrong if uh, uh, professor may is uh, asking two question and both uh, un both answer are wrong what she had given then what would be value of y Two. That's why I told that uh, y is also observing 0, 1, 2. Also, okay. So, 2. Uh, with respect to that probability that y is observing 2, uh, probability is 1 by 16. Okay. So, we can compute uh, uh, branch wise uh, all the probability. So, we have already computed probability of 1, 1. Where is 1, 1? 1, 1 is talking about this, uh, this event is, this leaf is 1, 1. This leaf is 1, 1. And this leaf is 1, 0. this leaf so all these leaf you can see that oh, and this leaf is there is a single leaf uh, further if uh, there is a zero question then there is no probability of being wrong uh, okay so that's why there is uh, it, it will terminate here but if two questions then these three uh, further branches of y you will observe so this leaf you can call it what is name of this leaf it is two zero this one is 1 this one is 2 2 so one kind of situation you can observe that so you have to all these are what uh, all these are okay here random variable is coming in sense that uh, uh, it is taking all this outcome you don't worry about uh, actual pattern of outcome you don't worry about what is the actual outcome here just random variable i i had already mentioned that it quantify each outcome to numbers so just here we are dealing with number here x is taking value 0 1 2 y is taking value 0 1 2 so th that situation is coming so all we are dealing with numbers so that's where this competition is fine here if you further talk about uh, variability of x so there are two kind of random variable we observe here x is one kind of random variable what are the value x is taking x is taking 0 1 2 and y is taking similarly 0 1 and 2 and then tell me how many joint occurrence of x and y are there anyone how many joint occurrence of x and y you observe here uh, 
anyone you observe nine joint occurrence this this point 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 and this point you have to calculate probability of all these nine points you have to calculate probability of all these nine points we are taking y along vertical axis so that calculation you can see it like here so calculation you, you can see here so this one is talking about x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 uh, just few example i have i have completed joint uh, uh, occurrence of x y for x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 and x equal to 1 and y equal to 0 so these two i have computed uh, computed rest you can compute yourself by easily all these leaf you can come up with all these leaf what is the name of this leaf anyone what is the name of this leaf anyone just highlight it what is the name of this leaf if that means x equal to 0 then what would be value of y if x is equal to 0 y would be 0 so uh, yeah so this leaf name of this leaf is 0 0 so this point is 0 0 so that's where uh, probability would be what this probability it is coming x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 what is the probability of x equal to 0 1 by 3 what is the probability of y uh, equal to 0 given x equal to 0 that means no wrong question it is 3 by 4 and further you can simplify it like this way I put a, a common denominator all these so these are the possible value of uh, joint probabilities all these the, these are the joint probability so nine ob observation you observe joint observation you observe and it is what we call it joint probability mass function of x and y if simply I am asking to compute generality mass function directly without going through this chain rule or multiplication rule, it would be really a tedious task to compute. But with the help of this chain rule or multiplication rule, we, we can compute all these through sequential approach. Okay, fine. This one is very simple question. I will take one more complicated question. So here one question, another question is coming credit card prediction kind of things. Here you have to predict uh, uh, regarding few person that whether that uh, person is having bad credit or good credit whether that person deserve for credit card or not so such kind of situation is you you have to uh, comment over that it is one kind of we can uh, in machine learning you can say that it is a part of what we call it nebulous classifier so you have to classify good and bad so good good you can say that one and for bad you can say that zero depends upon it is just a binary random variable you can say that here binary random variable y you can in, introduce and x will have different kind of uh, x is your attribute or input so x will have di different attribute x may take uh, more than two value or three value something depends upon what is the choices so bad is zero one good is one what we are calling it so question is coming like this way so consider we are having a sample the x is talking about teacher or input and here x is uh, suppose we are taking only three person uh, x equal to 0, uh, 1 and 0, it is not like x equal to 0, that means uh, uh, it is talking about just indexing, x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 and x equal to 2, okay, and y is uh, here an output, okay, uh, that means we are having 3 person, 0th person, 1th person, 2nd person, okay, and y is talking about uh, as an output, that means uh, output would be uh, whether uh, y will take a bad value or good value we have to mark bad or good so here bad and good it happens to be in quality quality in nature so we, we have to convert that into numeric so that numeric it would be you can call it zero you can call it one so further uh, regarding the ob observation of sample it is given here like this way we have given a score of uh, that uh, uh, the zero person is having uh, 42 bad score and 50 good score and one person is having a 338 bad score and 287 good score that means you have to look inside further in order to collect this bad and good score and second person is having three bad score and five good score so our question is that we have to find joint protein mass function so in order to compute joint protein mass function one is uh, there are various questions here one question we have to find uh, we have to predict 
uh, which person is bad and which person is good that that is the first part that we have to predict uh, good or bad from the given data so that one is that one is decided by conditional probability mass function and second question is that what is the joint probability mass function so easily from this given table we can easily compute joint probability mass function so let us see all further things here so uh, let us calculate first probability mass function of x and y individually so what is the probability mass function of x how we can compute so how we can compute probability mass function of x x you can see that x varies horizontally vertically x equal to 0 x equal to 1 x equal to 2 so it is varying vertically so in order to compute uh, uh, probability of x what you do sum this value uh, row wise so sum of what is 42 plus 15 what would be 57 338 plus 287 what what it would be 5 12 2 6 6 25 and this would be 8 and further what you do uh, sum all these value what is the value of uh, what is the sum it is 6 9. likewise if you are willing to compute the distribution of y y is taking value along horizontal axis so you have to do vertical sum so what is the sum of this one what is the sum this uh, sum of first uh, column this is 3 what is 383 and second sum of second second Two. Sum second. What is sum sum second? Firstly, do compute exact number. Give me exact number. So it is just uh, a seven three zero seven. So you got all this sum. And if you further sum these two, what what would be sum of these two? It would be equal to six ninety. That uh, sum of this value and sum of this value okay so here it is talking about simply you can say that y is varying horizontally so it will define distribution of y and x is varying uh, vertically it will define distribution of x so you can easily get uh, distribution of x so for uh, x equal to 0 what is the probability probability would be 57 by 690 x equal to 1 probability would be 625 divided by 690 x equal to 2 probability would be 8 by 690 so you got the distribution of x very fine you got the distribution of x so definitely you can say that x is having a different di distribution we this we just come across from the data given to us from there we conclude that this is the distribution data may be uh, there may be more than three person it may possible so that's why we are calling it sample it is just a sample now what is the distribution of y y is taking uh, well two qualitative value either y is bad or good so bad we are calling it zero good we are calling it one okay so what is the probability of y is equal to zero it is just uh, out of uh, total bad uh, uh, okay so how many total bad we observe uh, 383 out of 690 scores okay total total score happens to be 690 so that's your probability of y equal to zero is the, this one uh, probability of y equal to one is this one so we are having clear distribution of y so y is what uh, which one x1 is having simple distribution or y1 anyone which one is having simple distribution It is a very simple question. It is obvious that y is observing only two values. So y is having very simple distribution. Like if you if you will go for machine learning technique, then that time that time if you are having a question to compute joint protein mass function, your starting uh, distribution would be distribution of that output. Output is taking few value. So that's why you should start with that because uh, here y is taking just two values, zero and one. So y that distribution of y would be your starting thing. So let us we compute further. We can compute further like this way. Conditional probability mass function here uh, of x given y and y given x. Those also easily uh, computable. Like uh, how we can compute uh, 
protein mass function of y given x so we uh, for uh, here what is it? Uh, we are introducing conditioning by x so uh, for each fixed x we have to find distribution of y so here you can see that we do summation of row y so we are fixing x and finding the distribution of y so that's way uh, you can see it like this way <laughs> here this is the distribution of uh, y given x this one is the uh, this one is the distribution of x given y so x given y uh, we are finding the distribution of x given y so you can see that uh, uh, here variability of x is happening along vertical and uh, but conditioning we are putting it uh, by y so y equal to 0 this one y equal to 1 y equal to 0 y equal to 1 so y equal to 0 if you talk about uh, to find conditional property so uh, what is the contrib contribution of uh, x equal to 0 out of all these bad points so contribution is 42 out of all these bad points total board bad points are a uh, score are 383 that's where property of uh, x equal to 0 given y equal to 0 is uh, 42 by 383 likewise uh, property of x equal to 1 given y equal to 0 it would be 338 divided by 383 likewise this property you will get so this one is conditional property of x given y and likewise also you can compute conditional property of y given x okay now afterward you are having both kind of protein so you can proceed with uh, any of idea and th this also you can easily com compute this conditional protein so you have you have computed here this one is probability of x given y so in suffix you have to put it x given y random variable this one is property of y given x so both thing you are having you are having everything if someone is willing to compute uh, joint protein mass function it depends upon uh, uh, with which you want to proceed if you want to proceed with this one then what what is happening that here first you are observing y so multiply each protein uh, value of protein mass function of y with this conditional property if you are proceeding with this one then you what you have to do your prior property that would be uh, this uh, that means you first observing x and uh, multiply each uh, protein mass function of this uh, x with this conditional protein mass function in order to get joint protein mass function so computation you can see it here like this way so here uh, in if uh, situation is that first suppose you, you are observing x first and uh, in that perspective next observation would be y given x y given x okay so that means you know the distribution of y given x as well okay so just apply so why just come up with this conditional property uh, y given this is the conditional property of y given x all these uh, probabilities okay so just apply uh, definition of uh, joint protein mass function or computation of joint protein mass function through this multiplication rule and compute all those value you can compute all those values so all these value we have computed through this so if you are taking x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 then uh, you can get it probability joint probability of x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 through this multiplication rule uh, of probability and simplify it. Uh, don't uh, take it in decimal form because in decimal form you are trying to uh, come up with approximation so if you do approximation and if you sum all those approximated value definitely it will be not equal to one it may be some, somewhere uh, less than one 0.99 something something so that's why you proceed with this it is just for understanding uh, understanding purpose which one is less or greater so that is the concept okay likewise also you can uh, compute joint property of zero one so you compute it through this formula this okay and, uh, and this value is very near to 0 0.02 okay likewise you, you can compute uh, all the joint protein mass function so you can compute all these joint protein mass function all these you can see that and you can put in the uh, you can put all these value in in this table or for here x y are taking few value f y is taking just two value and x is taking three value so uh, how many joint points you, you will observe two into three six joint point you will have so that's where six joint property you have to calculate and if you try to talk about probability uh, properties of joint property mass function it also satisfy a uh, similar kind of property what uh, uh,
probability mass function is satisfying what is what is that that is that means a joint probability mass function always lies between 0 and 1 because it is a just a probability second property would be that if you exhaust x and y that means if you sum x and all the joint probability mass function by varying x and y together then it satisfy normalizing condition this sum would be equal to 0 for all x and y we are taking summation with respect to x and y both so it is equal to 1 and third property that if you come come up with a subset of joint value of x and y that that uh, then you can easily find probability of for that subset by summing the corresponding joint property for those value of x and y which falls in b this one is the third property so again the joint property mass function is satisfying all the value of all the properties of being a joint property mass function so you can write it like this way so you can say that this joint property mass x and y are coming from b so only we are taking only those x y which are coming from b so we can compute probability of b like this way by summing the corresponding joint property mass function for all those x and y which are coming from b so here just you can fill up all these and uh, once you are having a joint property mass function you can reverse back that means you can compute uh, what we call it uh, probability of x protein mass function of x and protein mass function of y and condition protein mass function once you are having joint protein mass function so you can compute uh, so uh, how you can compute protein uh, mass function of x so so what you do uh, do horizontal horizontal sum so sum it up so what you will get you will get 57 by once situation is that when joint protein mass function is given to you from there easily you can find uh, probability mass function of x and y also you can compute everything that conditional probability mass function also you can compute okay so if you sum horizontal if you do horizontal sum of the probability it would be uh, 57 divided by 690 it would be what uh, 625 divided by 690 and it would be 8 divided by 690 so tell me what is this one what is this one anyone anyone what is this this is the distribution of x this if you do horizontal sum of each uh, table okay then you are getting distribution of x because uh, x varies vertically x varies vertically okay likewise if you sum uh, these columns so what would be this so sum of this column easily you can see uh, it is okay so what is sum of this one three eight three divided by six ninety sum of this one is three zero seven by six ninety so what is so oh, what we call it horizontally y is varying so here we are getting distribution of y that means marginal also another name of the marginal distribution also you can call it so from the given joint distribution of x and y these are the joint distribution of x and y we can compute marginal distribution or distribution of x and y individually and further we can compute uh, also we can compute uh, conditional distribution tell me what would be the con conditional distribution of uh, this one what is the con conditional property mass function of x given y of 0 0 what would be that anyone what would be this anyone just try to find it out directly so through the rule of uh, or definition of conditional property mass function how we can compute that x equal to 0 given y equal to 0 anyone think over it and you, you can further also compute from i'm saying that just from this given joint pro, table of joint protein mass function try to calculate all those uh, individual protein mass function 
that protein mass function of x protein mass function of y conditional protein mass function of x and conditional protein mass function of y if uh, that table is given there from there also you can compute all those so it is a homework for you you try to from this uh, table go reverse compute all those things so what you have already seen so go reverse like that so further uh, we will discuss a little bit about base rule and okay, it is it is already uh, above 45 minutes so in next lecture we will discuss about uh, base rule it is really important from this several perspective you will see a lot of interesting problem in base rule so base rule just uh, i would like to give uh, recall what is the base rule anyone would like to hi highlight what is the base rule anyone Are you able to listen to me or not? Anyone just highlight what is base rule? It is saying that if you are having uh, observe B and we are trying to find probability of A given B, then what is happening that we are having some prior idea of A. So we can, if we know the prior probability of A, then this property of a given b we will call it posterior property so for posterior property of a we can write it like this way property of prior property of a time property of b given a divided by probability of b okay and b is one event so b here what is happening that one is directly it is one kind of directly coming from re-statement of uh, conditional probability and then second thing would be that this one is simply base rule you can call it and second th thing would be here what you need to compute probability of b so how you can compute probability of b how you can compute probability of b so you can compute uh, by coming with the partition of the sample of space the partition of sample of space also introduce partition of the event b as well so it is like this way and there you have to apply multiplication rule suppose n number of members are there so here you have to sum all these probability of ai's you have already observed into probability of b given ai sum i will vary from 1 to n so here you need to compute always probability of b with the help of partition of sample of space through that scenario you have to come up with this this we are calling it total probability law or total probability law or or you can call it chain rule as well a probability total probability law okay a rule also you can call it so with with the help of this and further things would be here there is one more thing that here it is very much in, uh, interesting to compute this one what is this one also you need to know how to come up with this one so we'll talk about this one i will talk this in different perspective okay in next class we'll discuss regarding attendance just put your roll number in comment